Hello everyone, Zia Hussain on this side. A brief introduction of mine. I've done MSc Zoology. I've qualified CSI and NETJRF with All India Rank 65. I've qualified SIT Maharashtra as well. And one more exam for the PhD is called as PET. Currently I'm doing PhD at SPPU Pune. Okay, our today's topic is microbes or microbiology. So let's get start with the introduction. Here, I have directly gone for the definition of the bacteriology that is nothing but the study of bacteria is called as bacteriology. Now, bacteria was first observed by one of the Dutch lens maker. His name is Antony von Leeuwenhoek. Like if you want to remember the simple name, it's none other than Leeuwenhoek. He named them as animalcules. He named them as animalcules or animalculi but like the another one like one of the important scientists in the field of microbiology his name is Louis Pasteur he made a detailed study of the bacteria and he gave a theory called as the germ theory of disease germ theory of disease was proposed by Louis Pasteur now the scientist who gave the name as bacteria was none other than Ehrenberg it was Ehrenberg who gave the term as bacterium or today what we call as bacteria now if i'll be dealing with like the is uh, important characters of the bacteria they are extremely simple structures and they are of small size i repeat they are extremely simple structure and they are of small size they do have resistance to adverse environmental factor in the coming lessons you will be and going through how come like they they are resisting to the adverse environmental factors but still for the time being you just need to know this how come with the help of the formation of highly resistant endospores highly resistant endospores they'll be having the resistance to adverse environmental factor now they do have diversity in their mode of nutrition as well they do have diversity in their mode of nutrition as well they may be autotrophic or maybe in the autotrophic field they will be photo autotrophic or the chemo autotrophic they can be heterotrophic they can be saprophytic they can be detrivores ultimately decaying so like a lot of different different types of mode of nutrition are seen in the bacteria now one important sentence that they lack true nucleus they lack true nucleus rather they have the genetic material in the form of nucleoide now hopefully like a uh, Again, here, like we are dealing with their size. Their size is uh, 3 to 5 microns. Hopefully, you do know about uh, like uh, what is a micron. It's a unit to measure the length. Uh, a, 1 micron is equal to 1000 of millimeter in length. And which means like ultimately 1 micron is equal to 10 raised to minus 6. Because 1 millimeter is equal to 10 raised to minus 3. So ultimately one micron will be equal to 10 raised to minus 6 and ultimately if you are dealing with their size like uh, comparatively normal some species of the bacteria are uh, like approximately 15 micron in diameter 15 micron in diameter but the smallest is the name of the smallest microorganism or the bacteria especially is dialister pneumostin dialister pneumosynthes it is the smallest bacteria and the largest is Epulposicum Epulposicum Fischel sonai it is 0.3 mm long it is 0.3 mm long please deal with the thing now like the if I am dealing with the shape different different shapes of the bacteria hopefully you do know but still like I am directly going for one of the important shape of the bacteria is called as cosi or what we call as cocus. The meaning of cocus is oval or spherical. Oval or spherical. If only one single cocus is present, that is called as micrococus. If two are present, that will be called as diplococcus. If many of them are present, it will be called as streptococcus, like present in a chain. And if like uh, all of them are clustered in the grape like structure that time you will be calling it as staphylococcus again micrococus will be only one 
diplococcus will be two streptococcus will be many arranged in a chain and staphylococcus will be they are clustered like a grape shaped structure now the next shape of the bacteria is bacilli or what we call as bacillus bacilli the like the meaning of bacilli is rod shaped bacteria the meaning of bacilli is rod shaped bacteria even they have flagella or they won't i'll be telling you what is flagella but still for the time being bacillus means rod shaped bacteria if they are found in the pair they will be called as diplobacillus when they are found in the chain they will be called as streptobacillus hopefully you do know about like the bacillus anthracis it's one of the like famous microorganism which is rod shaped in structure now the third shape is vibrio they are none other than comma like bacterias they are comma like bacterias and the example is vibrio cholera example is vibrio cholera now the last but not the least one it's the spirillum which means like the bacteria which are having spiral shape or like a cork screw shape they are just coiled in a spiral manner the example is spirillum hopefully like this was the introduction of the bacteria this lecture is beneficial for you if you are having any kind of doubt you can ask me thank you guys thank you very much